on guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for watching and to all my new subscribers what's up the ufo engine in the back right here and what we're going to do is, is we're going to take the existing graphics card out originally i had a gtx 1050 ti 4 gig card this one okay then we upgrade it to a 1060 3 gig card that's what's currently in the system no, I'm sorry. I just took the 1060 out and put the 1050 back in because I'm going to use the 1060 in a build. Well, got my problem solved. So, this is what we got. So, what we have in front of us is an MSI edition. This is a GTX 1070 Ti 8 gig graphics card. And it has fingers at the top for SLI. It's a eight and a six pin. Has a very nice back plate to it. Very nice. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to first do it to benchmark. We're going to see what the 1050 Ti does compared to the system. And then we're going to run the 1070 inside of it and see what our results are now that 1050 right there that is overclocked by a hundred and twenty two or 123 percent it's overclocked all right guys so if you want to get an accurate reading out of your machine okay yes I could hook up the OBS and I can show you guys on the screen and do all that crap I ain't doing that but what you need to do is you need to come down here and you need to turn off any programs any programs that may pop up down here they need to be shut off you need to eliminate as much processing as possible because when your computer is just sitting like this there's over 140 processes being ran right now with it just sitting in idle so you need to try to shut down as many of those processes as possible because you want to get the best physical reading for your computer. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to pull up the computer here and we're going to type in user, U-S-E-R, benchmark.com, alrighty. And then this is a completely free website that you can use. You can CPU, GPU, SSD, RAM, USB, frames per second. You can compare, you can do a build, you can do a test. Basically, you can build a computer here virtually, and then you can test the build, and then you can compare the build to other things. This is an awesome site. So, we're gonna go right here to the free download. Okay. And it should open up down here, and you're gonna hit run. Alrighty. And then that will pop up hit yes hit run and then what it's going to do is it's going to initialize and then if you read here it'll show you everything that it's checking everything all the cores the power supply the RAM the devices you name it it will test everything and then it'll give us our frames per second at the bottom um, so let's just kind of let it do its thing real quick and we'll pick it up See where we go from there while it boots. Meanwhile, I'm over here trying to get Battlefield going because I know some of my peoples wants to play Battlefield. And we will wait for that. Meanwhile, the system is going through its RGB phases right now. God, that thing is beautiful. All right, so let's see what we got. It's still running. Uh, you can see it write speeds uh, 438 megabits per second. Uh, there's my other one 4,466 writes per second. That would be insane. Um, that's probably the, uh, the M.2 NVMe SSD that we have in there. Um, it's only 120 gig. Okay, it's going through the visual graphics. And then at 
the end of this, it's going to give me the result and it's going to compare my build to other people that have a very similar build. Um, 16 gigs of RAM, a Ryzen 5, a GTX 1050, and they'll even try to um, base you on your chipset. So if you have a 350 chipset, they'll try to keep you in the 350 chipset category and not compare you to somebody that has like a you know like a 370 or something so okay it's counting down the initialations it's waiting for the sustained rights on the hard drive which reminds me I need to upgrade my hard drives if you guys like this kind of thing make sure to leave me a like if you're new please subscribe tell your friends y'all know how it is it's a struggle here we go here are the results. Now with the results, they give you three categories. They give you gaming, desktop, and workstation. And then on top of that, the way that they rate you is they rate you by these names, jet ski, battle cruiser, and yacht. And then if you're curious on how that comparison scale is, here it is over at the bottom. A UFO being 100%, the fastest balls to the wall possible. Nuclear submarines, a 90, aircraft carrier, battleship, battlecruiser, destroyer. So, if you are anything below destroyer, you need to upgrade. Alright, you need to upgrade it immediately. Let's go back and see what our results were. Okay, so, in gaming, we scored a low 37. In desktop, we scored a pretty good score of battle cruiser 66 and then as far as a workstation is concerned we scored yacht at 54 percent those are horrible scores now if you come over here you see how it's green green yellow green green okay the green means that all of them checked out and all of them are running as expected now here is the bottleneck this is where it's showing me that the system is running faster than my graphics card because it says right here it's running 33.5 percent below average okay down here toward the bottom it will show you your individual parts so here it is a ryzen 5 1600 out of uh, 200,000 users we scored an average of 68 percent in there and then it will show you based upon how well your processor is compared to other processors so far we got a good one it's at 71 percent that's a pretty good one now you come down here here's where the problem comes in at 33 percent below expectations but as you can see here the graphics card is performing well it's performing above 90 percent of all tested graphics cards so we got a good graphics card but in this system, this is the weak point. Now we come down here. Um, RAM, I don't know, I guess it did detect it or didn't do it. Um, here's our Corsair, our Corsair is running good. It's at 102%, which is outstanding. That's a very good rating. If we go down here, let's see, that's nothing. Okay, here's our RAM. Our RAM is performing outstanding out of 90,000 tested RAM of my type of RAM, um, we scored 93% out of all of those. So our RAM is in really good shape. This is a good way of testing to find out the health quality of your parts. So we're at 93%, which is outstanding. Okay, and then here's our, here's our memory latency ladder. As you can see, it starts off and then does a nice swoop swoop that's really good what you don't want is a roller coaster the up and down or a real jagged line you want a nice swoop and then a peak of performance line that's really good and then these are the games that are recommended to play on this system as you can see all of these these are the games that you're recommended to play and then down here at the bottom it kind of compares you to other builds and how well you did our total value of this machine as of right now is a 60% which is good and then it'll give you a total value price of your current parts which is 579 
it is what it is. So let's go back up here, give it one more look. So we got a jet ski 37, desktop 66, and workstation 54. Let's go ahead and shut this off. We'll go ahead and pull out the 1050, put it back in its box, hook up the 1070, download the drivers, um, we'll run it stock, and then we'll overclock it. But I'm really curious to see what our performance rating is going to be. It's going to be a significant bump increase, that's for sure. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the button. Alright, both fans came on, the MS Lite, oh yeah. Very beautiful build. Loving it. Loving it. Alright, let's put the panel on. Okay, so those were our original salts with the 1050Ti. 54, 66, 37. Um, let's go ahead and run that test again right here free download and run okay so that right there will just take a couple seconds to do and we'll see what the results are wow and the results are in check that out look at that a 73 battleship a 64 destroyer and then a 56 gunboat. And then look, all squares are green, so we don't have any bottlenecking or any low points. Let's see how well it handled. So it tested in the 80 percentile, 81.9% is what this graphics card is running. So that's really, really good. So 81%, so out of 613,000 tested 1070s, our scores in the 80 percentile of those. So that's really good, guys. That is a great value. Uh, it's 350 bucks. It's eight gigs of RAM. The 1050Ti was only four gigs, so this is double the virtual memory. The clock speeds are faster and the price tag is significantly more, it's $360. I paid $175 for it, but can't go wrong with that. So that was quite the improvement, man. That was awesome, very cool. And here's the scale again, and we're up here, we're in Battle Cruiser and Destroyer. So I'm still in the 65 percentile. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave me a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. 